Jesus. White magic, Helia on yourself. What the fuck? So we all got stone on the battlefield and de Well, I know what I gotta do. Well, let's uh... Julia, thank you for subscribing, Julia. This is for you, Julia. Thank you, Julia S, for subscribing. Thank you. So thank you. <laughs> Skill link. Uh, mm. <laughs> we play that every time there's a new subscriber in chat. It is awesome, I must say. It's pretty damn awesome. Thanks to uh, New Eskimo. I gotta go get my crap back. Actually, someone got a something about formation paralysis. I don't see a we need to petrify. Those guys suck. Cause you can't petri they they freeze you, and I, I can't. I'm not gonna be able to battle them until I get um until I have something to make me immune to petrify because they hit really hard. I mean, they stone your entire party. I'm sure there is uh, there's some sort of stone somewhere. But I don't have it right now. I have everything except Petrify. If Seth doesn't have it, it doesn't exist. Uh, so I sleep, dizzy, terror, Palladian, paralysis, freeze. No petrify. Damn. I don't have it yet. I gotta have to find it somewhere. I'm about to find where it is and buy it. Check the shop nearby, maybe they'll have one. In Ura. I gotta go back and get my items back from the stolen things anyways I don't think so that seal blocker is not what I'm looking for I just don't have it yet this is 
So this guy's constantly stoned. I have to get a stone. You bought a 3DS? Very nice. I think everyone's gonna 3DS. The 3DS right now is on fire. Everyone's like, I'm gonna. I need a 3DS. I want a 3DS. I want a 3DS. I want a 3DS. Well, I want a 3DS. Because there's just so many great games on it. It's outselling the other consoles right now. It's number one seller. It's 3DS followed by PS3. Which is pretty damn good for a handheld. Everyone thought the handheld market would be dead, and. Yeah. And they. Nintendo turned it around completely. Now everyone's buying one. I know. Where's Oprah? We need her. And you get a 3DS. And you get a 3DS. And you get a 3DS. And you. Girl, you ain't getting shit from me. Jamal, I told you. You ain't getting another one. Uh uh. <laughs> <laughs> And with the price drop on the Wii U, that'll help. And they, they also announced that they upped the release date of Super Mario 3D World on the Wii U. It's going to be in November now instead of December. And then Donkey Kong will be in December instead of November, which will help it. So people are going to see the Mario game alongside the Zelda bundle at $2.99. It'll probably sell pretty decent. Yeah, the 3DS was priced at the same price as the Vita back in the day, and then they slashed the price when the Vita was announced. I need to stay there. <laughs> Behind the water vault in Tosca. Okay, thank you. I'll have to go find that. Uh, Fizzero, let's face it. No, it's not true. As the only Mario game currently on the Wii U is the new Super Mario Brothers U. Which is pretty similar to all the other ones. It's not enough. Um, okay, let's go back to the world map. Whoops, go back to the world map. I mean, great gate. Go to Tulska. I know this shirt's a pussy magnet. I'm really I'm curious about the they're combining Fire Emblem with um, sh mega sh mega something t me mega shitty titty and making a new RPG with that for the Wii U. So I don't know what they'll do with that. Go Tosca. They're um. They're making a crossover of Fire Emblem with um, Shang, Ma Shang Minami Tensei or whatever it's called. And they're releasing it on Wii U. Yeah. Um, the price drop plus, plus um, all the other games that'll be out by then will fizzle. It will. A lot of parents will be looking at consoles during Black Friday, and they're going to see $3.99 for a PS3 that has five games for it, or $2.99 I get my child this family-friendly Zelda bundle with a Mario game. Parents will go for the Zelda, will go for the Nintendo, and they're buying for their children. I There will be a pretty big sales boost for the Wii U over the holiday season. So we'll see how it stands up. They managed to turn the 3DS around. We'll see how they do with the uh, Wii U. I have a feeling they're going to do pretty damn well this holiday. Yeah. 
No, they're they've been fixing that uh, the not knowing what it is part. They did a weird job of uh, whoop, of explaining what the Wii was back in the day. Parents don't have to do research. Parents know what a Zelda is. They played Zelda. Medusa's head. That's the one I made right there. Um, let me replace um, let me replace your statement hate crime with another one. I'm surprised people aren't sick of shooters. I lost interest in shooters after Halo 2. Parents are stupid. Parents are stupid. Because people are stupid. A lot of people don't. A lot of parents don't know what games are. Yeah. Something in the front door of the old Sir Sorceress's mansion? Oh, at the mansion over there. People complain about Nintendo releasing the same types of games all the time, but, and again, think of all the Halos, all the, all the shooters that come out, they're all, all clones of each other. It's like, the entire industry is doing that, constantly releasing games of the same over and over and over again. Sequel galore. Mini game tutorial? Pay respects to the steps you said to the village. Pay your respect. Some areas of village may block away the steps to go away. This is a statue camp for the time square as many humans will visit every statue when the time runs out. Item based on how many statues you visit. Yeah. Uh. Horse! Why is there a horse there? Just random horse. Make one. Two. Three. Thank you, Cobra. Um, I think Nintendo has many studios. It's ridiculous how many studios they have. But what Nintendo does differently is they they work on a game for two to three years per game. They don't rush games out the door. Their games don't require a day one patch because they are well polished and have been worked on and fleshed out over the course of years. Like Luigi, uh, Luigi's Mansion 2 on the 3DS, that game was in development for almost four years. Four years on that game. Which is crazy. Um, one. And the quality shows in the product. Uh, run. And that's also why uh, Nintendo first party exclusives don't drop in price. They release games slower and leave them there for over the course of a year at the same price. And they know that they don't like to do what the other publishers do, which is release a game really fast after a few months drop in price and then move on to the next product. They like make a game and they stand by it. Regardless if you like their types of games or not. Mm -hmm. Thank you.
Check inside here. Might be one inside. Is there a staff? Just one up. Just one up. Down there. Nothing up there. Nice. Oh, thank you, Ansim, for subscribing, sir. This is for you. Thank you, Ansem, for subscribing. You're awesome. Thank you. Welcome to the sub club. Thank you for supporting the channel. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Get up the ladder now? Yes, I can. Um, Platinum games, their, their games are good, but they just don't sell very well. Like, they just don't have a broad appeal to them. They're very niche games. They're very good games, they're just niche. And that's why a lot of publishers don't like to publish their games, because they know they're not going to sell millions of it, but they'll sell, you know, a chunk. Sort of like Soda, uh, Suda51's games. They're good, they're very crazy different, borderline crazy brilliant, but at the same time, they don't have very high sales. Like the, the game Killer is Dead that's coming out, that's a Suda51 game. That game looks cool, but it looks like it's gonna turn a lot of people off. It's not, like, very casual friendly, I don't know what the word I'm looking for. Oh, he's right there. Thirteen. Uh, Platinum is Bayonetta. Third difference to me. Uh, what am I missing? That kid move yet? No. Inside the inn, maybe? I mean, quickly, quickly, quickly. Come on. It's fifteen. Where's the last one? Uh, Cobra for the win. You've subscribed, sir. This is for you. Thank you, Cobra, for the win, for subscribing. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much for supporting the channel. You are awesome. Also, um, I forgot to mention that today, tomorrow is the last day to subscribe to be entered into the drawing for the PS4 for this month. The details for the contest are below the stream there. No! One second. Ah. Slot seeds, seal break, blocker. Ah. Darn it. What did that. Muta seal, Medusa's head. Alright, let's try it again. <laughs> Alright, here we go. One. Medusa gives great head. Two. Three. Come 
Come on, that one. Was it the big one? I don't think I don't know if you can fit a wreath around the big one. I don't think too. So. Look into her eyes. That is very true. Never want to look into Medusa's eyes. Very bad idea. If you look into her eyes, you get very hard. That's very true. <laughs> that is very true. It's a naughty way to look at it, but it's true. Um, the reason it's PS4, not an Xbox One, is one, I don't hate you. And two, PS4s are not region locked, whereas Xbox Ones and will be region locked. Meaning, you can't, if I sent it to you, you would be able to play games from your country on it. You were to buy games for yourself. Nick5X, thank you for subscribing! This is for you, sir! Congratulations, Nick, for subscribing! Thank you for supporting the channel, I appreciate that. Thank you very much, sir. Yes, if you can, it's always recommended to wait at least one year to buy a new console. Because the first years always tend to have the problems that the other ones that later they fix with firmware updates and stuff. And not to mention games. When you first launch the console, there's not gonna be a lot of games for it. And they're gonna do um they're gonna do a lot of they're gonna release a lot of shitty games at first. Most launch games suck. With uh, most consoles the uh, the launch games are pretty bad. Usually you have one or two good ones and the rest are just crap. Pretty much every console that's ever launched has done it that way. Because they, they work so hard to get these games out the door by launch that they don't actually have time to polish them because they got to make that date. Jump. Jump. If you win and you don't want it, or you want to give someone else, you can. I'll send it to you. You can send it whoever you want. It's up to you. You can sell it on eBay if you want. Yeah, Sony's got a lot of exclusives, but they're they are um, waiting to um, release them over time versus forcing forcing a lot of unfinished ones out the door. There was nothing really on Xbox side that really intrigued me exclusive wise. The only one that did was um, was Dead Rising 3, only because I played Dead Rising 2 on um, PS3 and I really liked that game. All the other ones, nothing really. Forza, Yawn. Um, Forza, Yawn. Rise doesn't look very good. Um, Killer Instinct. Another stupid fighting game. Don't, don't really like those kind of games. And it's free to play. On PS4 side, um, the Witness looks really good. I really want to play The Witness. And my most anticipated game right now is Infamous 3. Infamous 3 Second Son. Every video I see of that game is looking badass and awesome. It is the big one, isn't it? Out of all the games, all exclusives on both consoles, Infamous Second Son is my most anticipated. And when I see gameplay of um, The Order, The Order looks... 
interesting, but I haven't seen, we haven't seen any gameplay. Just like with most of Xbox exclusives, we haven't seen gameplay of them. We've only seen little trailers of them, but never, not gameplay. Titanfall looks like a good multiplayer game, but I'd much rather play it on PC. And so it's not really exclusive. That It's a timed exclusive, so that means it's going to be an Xbox One first, and then down the road it's going to come out on PS4 anyways. Gamble? GAMBLE! I just got, finally got the spell Gamble. That's the spell. That's the spell. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Titanfall will be on PC too, so it's not exclusive, and it's going to be on PS4 as well, just later down the line, down the line. So I don't really consider Titanfall an exclusive. It's not really an exclusive any more than I consider um, any more than I consider uh, Final Fantasy XIV an exclusive. Like it's exclusive to the to that console, but it's on PC too. It's like. You know, with most shooters, I'd much rather play them on PC anyways, with mouse and keyboard. I don't like playing shooters with the controller. Yeah. And the developers are being very shh, because they're not allowed to talk about it, about the PS4 version of Titanfall. Which basically means it's coming. It's a matter of when. Judging by most exclusives for Xbox, probably a month after release, it'll be on Titanfall, it'll be on PS4 as well. Rhyme? Oh. We gotta find a book? Uh, Microsoft was doing timed exclusives, which is the make everybody wait a month for it shit. What, what, what? I feel vibration. Just like they do with all the Bethesda DLCs. Virus? Did I just get herpes? I can give someone herpes with my spell? Virus. Flicks virus on it. What does it do exactly? Thomas45 just subscribed. This is for you, Vut Thomas. Congratulations. Thank you, Thomas45, for subscribing. Welcome, sir. Yeah, Knack is a PS4 launch title. And... This is a launch title, probably not going to be very good, but I'll get it because it's the only launch title on both systems that's not a shooter. Or a racing game. Yeah, it's the only one that's not a shooter or a racing game. And I was just like, finally something different, thank you. Thank you. I don't expect it to be very good. I expect Knack to be pretty mediocre. But who knows, maybe it'll surprise me. Looks like the monsters are all gone. This place is full of them. A long time ago, someone explained that monsters were attracted by gloomy energy here. If your feelings lured them all here, then they hurt everybody. You should think of it that way. It seems that the monsters have departed. What further proof do you need that the energy has gone from your body? To push it right, would be here today without all.